we are talking about national cultures and its effect on human resource management. In this topic, we are going to talk about various aspects of the national culture. And this particular topic is going to deal with the aspect of national culture, which is attitude towards power and authority. The attitude towards power and authority varies among different types of cultures. There is always inequality of power in every type of society. You know that power is unequally distributed when people come and live together. Power is distributed in a form of hierarchy and some people have more power over other people. The sources of power can be a number of things. The power can come from education, jo zyada educated log hain, ya informed hain, ya knowledgeable hain, because knowledge is power, they become more powerful. Then wealth, money is also a source of power. Then your social or political position, that can also be a source of power, which can then lead to unequal distribution of power in the society. At the macro level, yani ke broad employ, uh, uh, broad society ke level ke upar, aap power ko distinguish karne ke liye aapko jo aspects nazar aate hain, that are the class, caste and feudal system. To aapne ye dekha hai ke humari society ke andar bhi class system bhi hai, caste system bhi hai aur feudal system bhi hai. Or hum class, caste or feudal system ke basis ke upar society mein hierarchy, hierarchically uh, logon ko power different tarah ke se assign karte hain. Um, Indian culture mein, particularly Hindu culture ke andar, aapne dekha hai ki caste system defines exactly the entire system of society in the Hindu culture starting from the Brahman and then the lower classes. Uh, and, and the entire power system is based on that caste system. So it can be um, a, an amalgamation of the class, caste and feudal type of systems or one particular type holding more influence in the society. So on the macro level, you see that this is the basis of distinction, uh, distinction between the unequal distribution of power. At the micro level, how does it reflect in our attitudes? At the micro level, it can be seen in the extent to which individuals might be willing or able or reluctant or even scared to challenge the authority of people in the senior positions, be it their parents, religious leaders, teachers or their, ru uh, or their rulers. Uh, so, uh, it is the extent to which, uh, in some cultures, uh, the extent to this hesitance or reluctance to challenge the authority is high. And those cultures are high uh, in equality cultures. Whereas in some cultures, the power to or the um, ability to challenge this kind of authority is low. So uh, in that kind of a situation, those cultures, they are low inequality cultures. All right. So on the basis of that, national cultures, they vary in the degree to which inequality between members exists or is accepted in the society. So if the members, they have more inequality among them, they cannot challenge, they are not able to challenge, then that culture is a high inequality culture. Uh, just as in Pakistan, uh, there is high inequality between uh, the upper classes and lower classes. And you see that the lower classes people, they, uh, they, they cannot challenge the authority of people that are in the higher classes that can be uh, uh, that source of uh, inequality that can come from religious uh, background that can also come from social background gaon ka jo choudhari hai usko koi challenge nahi karta isi tarah maulvi sahab ko koi challenge nahi karta isi 
طرح سے آپ کے رولرس کو کوئی چیلنج نہیں کرتا پیپل ڈو ناٹ اسپیک آؤٹ اگینسٹ پیپل ان دا ہائر پوزیشنز اینڈ دیر از اے لاٹ آف ہنڈرنس ان چیلنجنگ دا اتھارٹی آف پیپل ان دا ہائر اپر ایکلانس آف دا سوسائٹی سو ہائی ان ایکوالٹی کلچرز آر دا ونس ان وچ پیپل کین ناٹ چیلنج اینڈ دین دیر آر لو ان ایکوالٹی کلچرز فار ایگزامپل موسٹ آف دا ڈیولپ نیشنس دے ہیو لو ان ایکوالٹی کلچرز ان وچ پیپل کین چیلنج اور پیپل کین آر ایبل ٹو چیلنج دا اتھارٹی آف پیپل ان دا ہائر لیول پوزیشنز سو فار ایگزامپل ان دا یو کے یو سی دیٹ دا پرائم منسٹر آف یو کے دز ناٹ موو اراؤنڈ ود اینی پروٹوکال ہی اور شی دے جسٹ موو اراؤنڈ ان دا سوسائٹی لائک اینی بڈی ایلس ایز کمپیئر ٹو پاکستان ان وچ دا پیپل ان دا ہائر پوزیشنز دے آر سلیوٹیڈ گیون پروٹوکال اینڈ گیون آل کائنڈ آف یو نو ٹریٹمنٹ دیٹ میکس دا ڈسٹینس بٹوین اپر اینڈ لوور کلاسز مور پرناؤنسڈ All right, so this is about the national culture and when these things exist in the nat- national culture, they actually they are translated in the organizational culture as well because the organizational culture is a part and parcel of the national culture and it, uh, it comes out of the national culture and it cannot be separated from it. But how it, uh, um, it is manifested in the organizational culture, it is uh, manifested in the form of formal and informal hierarchical structures so uh, one is that uh, on in on the formal side the hierarchical structure is tall like people have more uh, steps in the hierarchy and the top of the per, uh, top of the organization and the bottom of the organization is separated by a number of steps and then it can also reflect in informal hierarchical cultures that the distance between the even if there is only one step but the distance between the boss and the supervisor is considered to be uh, uh, to be of 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 higher value and then it is also manifested in the relationship between organizational members so how organizational members they treat each other how do they talk to each other how do they communicate with each other that also reflects whether the distance between top and lower levels of the organization is high or low for example if you uh, talk to your boss by speaking his first name then it means that the distance between uh, the two people is low but if you have to pronounce that person as sir or your highness or something like that it means that the distance between the two positions is that is high so it the organizational level it is manifested in the form of the hierarchical structures formal in any formal as well as the relationship between organizational members so we as human resource managers we are particularly concerned about what happens when there is high distance between uh, uh, between the levels so in high inequality cultures the employees uh, would not challenge their supervisors or superiors they will not even if they see that the super the, the supervisor or the bosses they are doing something wrong and it is going to lead to some kind of disaster they are not going to challenge it they are not going to speak against it Uh, superiors may also be reluctant to give them the opportunity so jab culture is tarah ka ban jata hai to phir ek agar aap chahte bhi ho to aap jo bosses hain wo they are reluctant ke wo logon ko speak up karne ka mauka dein because unko ye dar lagta hai ki agar humne inko bolne diya to ye phir bolte hi jayenge aur phir rukenge nahi so uh, because there is reluctance wo bolne nahi dete isliye جو امپلائیز ہیں وہ یہ پاور جو ہے وہ ایزیوم نہیں کرتے اینڈ دین بیکاز آف دس دا مینجمنٹ اسٹائل از ٹو بی ایدر پٹرنلسٹک اور آٹوکریٹک سو پٹرنلسٹک میں یہ ہے کہ بناولنس ہوتی ہے لیکن بناولنس جو ہے وہ ٹاپ ڈاؤن ہی ہوتی ہے بٹ آٹوکریٹک جو ہے دیٹ از دین ڈائریکشن اینڈ اسٹرکٹ سپرویژن اس میں بناولنس نہیں ہوتی اور دیر از اے اسٹرکٹ آٹوکریٹک کلچر ان دی آرگنائزیشن ان وچ دا سپیریئرز ٹیل دا امپلائیز دا لوور لیول آف آرگنائزیشنل ممبرس ٹو ڈو واٹ دے آر سپوز ٹو ڈو اینڈ دے آر ناٹ کنسرن ایدر پٹرنلسٹک میں تو یہ ہوتا ہے کہ جو باسز ہیں دے آر کنسرن اباؤٹ دا ویل بینگ آف دا لوور لیول امپلائیز اینڈ دے ڈو گیو دیم سم کائنڈ آف یو نو 
uh, some kind of margin and good treatment but that is also top down but in the autocratic type of culture uh, the bosses are coercive and they just uh, direct the employees about what to do and it is also top down then in high inequality cultures organizational uh, they are highly centralized obviously um, uh, authority is not going to be delegated when there is a lot of distance between uh, the levels of the org uh, organizational members and centralization will be there with a high uh, with a rigid hierarchical chain of command so the chain of command is going to be really rigid it's not going to be bypassed it's, just, it's not going to be broken uh, it is going to be followed with a lot of you know um, strictness uh, as it happens, for example, in the military culture that you cannot uh, go against your senior and you cannot bypass your senior. And that is also reflected in the behaviors that you show towards your senior, uh, how you behave in front of your senior and what you are supposed to do. So that is a kind of a uh, organization which is highly centralized and which has a rigid hierarchical chain of command. Then in such kind of cultures, instructions, they flow from the top. So whatever you're supposed to do, that it's instructed to you and you're not allowed to participate in making the decisions what you're supposed to do in your organization. And then finally, obedience is expected from those in the lower levels. So the people who are below a particular position, they are supposed to show obedience to the person who is above them. So obedience and submission is also a very important aspect of cultures which are high inequality cultures. On the other hand, uh, you can well imagine that in the low inequality cultures, kya hoga? what can you imagine? Uh, employees, they respect their managers, but feel able to point out when they do not agree with their views. Uh, so employees, they do respect, they show respect, but they can speak out and they can share their views regarding a particular stance or a particular, uh, for example, if a project is going to be launched, they will share what they think about that project. And then the employees who are in the le lower levels, junior employees, they expect that they will be consulted. Unse pucha jayega jab koi decision, particularly decision jo ke unko effect kar raha hai, ya unki working ko, ya unke unit ko, ya unke unse related organizational aspects ko effect kar raha hai, to wo expect karenge ke unse pucha jayega, aur agar unse nahi pucha jata, to they will feel that the psychological contract with them has been breached. Uh, so this happens in the uh, low in inequality cultures. So you can well imagine that what kind of management style is going to be uh, employed in such kind of cultures. Uh, the management style would be either participative or consultative. Participative mein hota hai. participation is invited. But consultative is even more than that, that you consult and then you actually, the, the, the leader or the uh, manager, it actually includes the advice and opinion of lower level employees in the decisions that actually follow. Participative mein ye hai ke wo poochte zaroor hai, lekin zaroori nahi hai ke uski basis ke upar decisions kiye jai. But consultative is like that. And then authority hierarchy is flat and flexible or even replaced by networks and leaderless work teams in which there is no leader it's just a work team and people they are assigned role without any kind of hierarchical position who is supposed to be managing them or supervising them so they supervise them themselves and they are called self-managing teams so that happens in uh, low inequality cultures so this is how the national culture of an of a uh, country it can affect uh, the organizational level dynamics.